Oh! Um, I don't know how many volumes. Oh! 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 Read it. Oh! No! You know, uh, too bad I'm moving to Japan. So I know some of you made. A Hello, I am Ditus and we are in a manga collection video. I need to touch some grass, I agree. And uh, I have some fireplace going on here because it's nighttime and I'll just give you a mood, I don't know. And then we have books in the corner because my dad collects manga, I mean not, <laughs> my dad does not collect manga. He collects books, he's a book collector and he took all the shelf space so I have zero shelf space. So organizing this video is gonna be very difficult. I am leaving to Japan in a day and a half. So uh, this is, this is, yo, know, enjoy. Actually, if you're watching this video already, then I'm probably already in Japan. Actually, I probably edited it over there. Well, since I'm living in Japan now, I'll probably need a VPN service to access anime with English subtitles. I'm looking at you dress up, darling. Oh, would you look at that? This video is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN is easy to use. With one click, bada boom, I'm connected to a server within the US. My oh my, Netflix sure has changed. Thank you. There is also a new major upgrade of NordVPN, Threat Protection. It's the next step in protecting the users and offering a safer and smoother online experience. Threat Protection blocks intrusive ads and web trackers. When a user downloads a file, Threat Protection inspects it for malware. It also automatically scans URLs and blocks malicious ones. Using my link, nordvpn.com slash ditus, get a two year plan plus one month free with a huge discount. Plus you get threat protection with NordVPN subscription. Go ahead and click the link below in the description and thank you again nordvpn box set one of one piece box set two of one piece box set three of one piece and box set four of one piece i've only read box set one so far completely on the toilet i've read every single manga on the toilet so i don't have to repeat myself i want you to know the only time i read manga is on the toilet i am serious i read chapters like one to two to three usually per poop this took me like at least a month of pooping. This is Naruto, box set one. And then, oh, unopened box set two. Sakura's best girl, we're not done, I guess. Yep, there we go, box set two, one, and three. Very popular one. I, I decided not to read this because I am watching the anime. When I read manga, I don't watch anime. So, but I can, if I watch anime, I can go back and read the manga, but I can't do the reverse. Bakuman, the, you know, they're always like, I gotta work, I gotta work, I gotta draw 24 seven, I gotta draw 24 seven, it makes me feel like poo poo. But it also inspires me because they always do the impossible and they're always like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna become the famous mangaka. I highly recommend if you're into art or manga or anything, Ugh, ugh. Assassin's Classroom. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be, it's beautiful, beautiful books and beautiful box set. I'm gonna be honest, I read it the whole thing. I thought it was not good. But hey, I'm happy to have the, the box set, right? Sorry to all you uh, Assassin Classroom fans, okay? I'm just not a really big fan of it. Okay, here we go. I do like Shoujo. My favorite guy is, uh, I know you guys, you girls are gonna like this. My favorite guy, oh, right here. There he is. Uh, what's his name? Oh my God, Emily's gonna beat me up. Uh, Ryuji? Oh no, what's his name? Emily, please don't beat me up. Anyways, Kyuya, Kyuya, Kyuya. The manga is completely different from the anime. The anime is for like, you know, comedy, cutesy, feels good. This one's actually kind of drama-y. Oh, oh. Ooh. Over here we have Claymore. The anime ends up in a really bad note and it pissed off a lot of watchers and they never continued it. They never made like a season two. This manga box set has to complete everything. This story is very cool. It's, it's just about like ranking. It's like, oh, I'm a rank 49 or whatever. They have other powerful girls who are also blonde and blue eyes, silver eyes. And they're like, I'm rank two, I'm rank three, I'm rank seven. I'm right, and then they have to fight, you know, they die all the time, and then the ranking changes. It's cool! And they fight monsters, of course. Oh! Ooh, that's a little spicy. It starts off as like a comedy, like slice of life, school life kind of thing. And then season two is complete, like serious action, bad guy, plot heavy. 
Um, and they don't do that in the anime. They do that in the manga, okay? Okay, next we got this beautiful box set. Oh my god. I played the Super Nintendo game on the ROM, and um, I really like the art style. It's very old school. It's like one of the first, like, ever made. Hayao Miyazaki was on crack cocaine when he, when he made this manga. Yep, everybody knows this one. It's uh, a silent voice. It's about um, a deaf girl who was getting bullied. And this guy is the one that was doing the bullying. Ghost in the Shell, look at this, isn't this beautiful? I'm sorry, but I always thought it was boring whenever it, it aired on Adult Swim. Yeah, I'm just not a big fan, I'm sorry. But hey, box set's beautiful. And I did give it a chance, guys. I did give it a chance, I read all three books, okay? Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Malchemist. Full Metal Malchemist. I want to collect the hardcover that's out and I might just sell this. Uh, I actually already bought the hardcovers and they're coming through the mail. So I got to wait for the mail. Obviously one of the great, everybody knows, like I don't have to say anything. Oh my God, did you hear that? That's how heavy it is. It's Pandora's box. I've watched the anime, never read the manga. The manga con continues past the anime. The anime stops midway. But the thing is, I just, this just came in the mail. I did not get to read this. It's an Alice in Wonderland spinoff kind of. She's B-Rabbit, if I remember correctly. And now we have Berserk. Yep, volumes one through seven. Rest in peace, my boy, Kentaro Mura. This man really made a masterpiece. If you know Berserk, you know Berserk. Read past chapter zero and then you'll get attached. Read it, don't watch it. Read it, don't watch it. This art is really amazing like and this is only book one just just wait for more you know what i mean blade of the immortal i have never read it not once oh i can't recommend it okay so we got gundam 1 through 12 all hardcover baby okay gundam origins you know this is how gundam started how 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 the gundam universe tended this is the first gundam okay just came literally 10 days ago the jinji ito collection yep i got every single thing uh haven't read actually i haven't read any of these except uzumaki you know everybody knows who genji ito is do i really have to explain no anime adaption could ever do such detail such as like look at that ink work that's insane bro why is this cover so spooky <laughs> It goes, ooh, 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 yeah, ooh, 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 yeah, let me be with you. You know that anime opening? Everybody knows it. Come on. I wouldn't recommend reading the manga. I just watched the anime, honestly, but nice. The Drifting Classroom. Look at these thick books. Old school horror. It's about an elementary school, a bunch of elementary school kids who get transported to another world. And then it ends up where, like, the kids are the adults. Oh, I remember. It's Lord of the Flies. He comes in. He looks scary. People react, they're like, why does he look so scary? And then he does a cute thing. And then they're like, that's weird. Look at him. How could you hate him, you know? Probably the funniest gag manga I've ever read in a very long time. Apparently it's about scuba diving, guys. It's about scuba diving, but the thing is they never scuba dive. They'll scuba dive once every like a hundred chapters. They're too busy drinking. Gambling, yeah, gamble kids, yeah. The whole two chapters dedicated to measuring her um, various sizes. So, um, very wholesome, very cute. We got Cross Game. It's about baseball, but not really baseball. It's more about life and slice of life. In, and there's some drama in here and some life stuff happens. And sometimes it's a bummer. I only have one volume of Horror Mia. A lot of people, this is a very popular. I personally don't like it. I'm gonna be honest. I, I watched the anime. I tried to watch it with Emily. We both didn't like it. Blue Period, which uh, gives me art school PTSD. I'm gonna be honest. Basically, it's about a college girl who quit her job realistic kind of somber kind of feel where it's like kind of bad but kind of good it's just life yeah i can relate college you know having no job yep being jobless yep i totally 200 percent relate man next we got chainsaw man very popular the anime is gonna make it like attack on titan levels i swear to god um voice crack sorry whoa 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 uh yeah so as you can tell it's a very edgy very edgy and um uh, but a great premise. This girl's annoying. I hate her. Basically, he transforms into a chainsaw and he has a little pulley thing on his like um, chest. And then he like, ah, ah, ah. I'm a big, huge fan of Rama One and a Half. This is one of her earlier works. Sorry, I can't tell you much more besides because I've never read it. It reminds me of Darling in the Fox, but with like crystal people. 
So I only have one volume, one shot basically. This is the only volume. Um, it's about this girl who who wants to find out what happiness is, and it has a neat little twist at the end. I thought it was okay. It's an okay read. Boom. Three dollars. Oh look, Hercules. He gets pulled into the world of dancing because this guy just randomly was like, hey, wanna take a lesson? And he's like, oh, okay, I guess. And then he ends up really loving it. And then he ends up being really good at it. It's interesting seeing a different world. Like when you go into ballroom or the baseball world or the art world, you know, this I got different worlds going on. Or the rent-a-girlfriend world. Wow, what a segue. This guy's a loser. He reminds me of me a lot. Um, he, he basically, yeah, you know, it's great. Oh, oh, this is second best girl. This is first. This is, that girl's annoying. If anybody likes this girl as your favorite, you're crazy, okay? I'm staying away from you. People kept saying it's really good, it's really good, it's really good. And I, I, I don't know, the premise just sounds kind of lame. But then, you know, when you read it, the characters are amazing. The characters are so funny. This girl's hilarious. She could read minds and she's always like, why, why are my parents so messed up? I think... They should make an anime of this. I'm, I'm pretty sure they are, right? It's really popular. We got the Coffin Princess for $5. Look at that steal. It's about this girl who ha has to carry around a coffin because she has some, like a big gun. And then she has to find her father remains. And she talks in third person like, ooh, hi, Chaika. Chaika, fine finger. Chaika, fine body part for father. Chaika's cute. Look at her little thick eyebrows. It's about like ninja clans, like a one, like a one ninja clan versus another ninja clan. Very mature. It, there's lots of blood and, and nudity. Um, so watch out. Yo, this volume is evil, by the way. Do not buy this manga series. Just watch the show or something. Because guess what? This is worth like a hundred to three hundred dollars. I copped it on Amazon through Europe. Um, some guy was selling it for twelve bucks. I got away with it. I watched the TV show all the way through and then it never finishes and then you have to read the rest of the manga to finish the story but i love this i love this guy see he, he's kind of a meme because he made truck kun main character like got into track because he was attracted to this girl they both do track and then she gets more she's like a snoodle oh yeah it's very drama -y. very very drama -y. i just want you to know that's why i love it it's about this guy who drank jesus blood and then he became immortal and it's a lot about jesus christ very violent and uh and uh, has zombie people. They're like, there's zombie people and they, they want to drink. They want to drink the Jesus blood really bad. I'm, I'm actually not even joking. I think this is made by a Korean. Okay, next we got orange. No offense to anybody who likes it. I just really don't like it. It's about time travel. And like, it's, it's about like a, I don't know, love note from the future. Girl on the shore in your asano. Asano, you know, the pun pun guy. This guy's very good at making you sad and, and disgusted about life. And uh, this is no exception. I. I don't, I, I honestly, I don't like this. I, I'm gonna be, I ain't gonna front. I hated this. I hated this. It made me feel like doo-doo. I don't like it. Uh, but the art's nice. It's very mature. Be mature when you read it, okay? I liked it. I liked it at first, but I felt like it was a little rushed. There's only three volumes and um, I feel like the conflict was like over so quickly and I was bummed out that there's only three volumes. I wouldn't buy it. I'd, I'd, I'd say buy something else. One of the best shoujos ever made, honestly. Everybody should read this, except one thing. The author, um, you know, got sick or I don't know. She just lost motivation or something, but she she's not uh, making it anymore. And it, it ends up in a, in a bummer. But the, the cliffhanger is a bummer. It really is. It, it's been like that for years and years and years. I don't think we'll ever get to see it finished. Ever. But I still, just like Berserk, I still think it's worth the read and worth the buy. Here we got a classic, dude. The One of the best mangas of all time. I've reread this on the toilet like 20 times. I ain't getting front, dude. It's so rereadable. It's amazing. Uh, it's an all-girls dormitory. And, uh, whoa. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, very rereadable, very rereadable. Um, yeah, honestly, one of the funniest and just fun and well, <laughs> um, it's just ripped out, which is uh, basically Saw anime version. It's Saw, you know. I thought it was pretty mid actually, but you know, it's a good read. You know, nothing wrong with that. And we got the Ideal Sponger Life. Wow, uh, I got these for a dollar. I uh, literally a dollar. That's why I bought them. It's literally Isekai. Pretty basic, the most basic, whatever. It was a dollar. I love the anime. And then the anime stops you at a very uh, a cool part and you're like, dang it, I want more. 
so that you get the manga. It's about skating, basically, and, and then there's gangs, and there's gangs of skatings, and then there's tournaments, and then there's battle. This guy controls time. He's like, my rollerblades control time. And you're like, what? How? By the way, anyone who's collecting air gear, good luck on finding volume 28. It, it is extremely rare. It's the only volume that's extremely rare. It had a short print cycle, and now, as you can see, it costs a lot. And no, I don't have it. Is, or I is, or is, eyes, eyes. It's like some poop on here. I don't know why. Oh, whoa, whoa. Don't judge a book by its cover. I, when I saw this at the bookstore, I was like, whoa, those are creepy drawings. And uh, it felt, you know, I didn't feel right about the covers. But, but the story is amazing. I reread this uh, like a million times on the toilet. It encapsulates the perfect teenage hormones brain uh, the, the main character goes through, he, he's always, you always get to read his thoughts out loud. I'm the biggest fan of love triangles. I love rooting for uh, a girl. And then you're like, oh, and then when she gets the main character, you're like, I win. It's like gambling. By the same creator as, you know, uh, eyes, a girl that comes out of the TV screen. It's all etchy, by, by the way, both are etchy. I just want you to get, obviously it's etchy, but uh, it's good romance. Basically, it's it's like about like this 10 year old that like that that attracts all these girls. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, it's, it's just some dude that has a really po powerful wizard father and he's trying to learn how to be as strong as his uh, wizard uh, dad. UQ Holders, which is a sequel to Najima, which I, I didn't get to finish, but yeah, it's about a new main character who's immortal and hey, he does immortal stuff and then they go to school and, and stuff. <laughs> I only have four volumes. Bro, check out my Devno collection. I only have one volume. Boom, baby! Woo! Devno movie! Woo! Look at that face! Woo! Uh, yeah, so everybody hates this movie. You know what's funny? I My first introduction to Death Note was this movie. Not this manga, not the anime, this movie. And you know what? I loved it. I loved it. I love this movie. You can't talk me out of it. Oh. Stuck in Wonderland. Yeah. You, you know the anime? Oh my God. Now that I think about it, dude, it's basically Squid Games. This is Squid Games, but, but original. Before Squid Game, there was Liar Game. Liar Game is Squid Game. For some reason, I skipped Shaman King. Here's what it looks like with the spines. Knowing me, I'd probably go like, Shaman King, and then cut the cut it to the next scene. Look at that spine, nice spine. Okay, let's go next. Every anime fan made fun of the rotoscoping anime, but dude, you should just read it. Yo, best girl, by the way. Basically about like this uh, hipster guy. He wants to be hipster and then he notices that this girl's pretty hipster and they get along with each other because like, but she's actually messed up in the head and then the dude is like falling along with it and then he gets in trouble and, and, and all this awkward like cringe. I've watched the anime up to like episode like 40 and then I lost track of what episode I was and then I gave up and I was like, I'm gonna buy the manga. Slam Dunk, I, everybody knows Slam Dunk, it's very popular. Yeah, it, it's just about like boys going to prison in an all, all girls school. And they try to escape prison and uh, you know, perverted shenanigans happen. There's a school festival arc and everybody knows it. It is the worst arc in the history of arcs. It's way too long and boring and it was terrible. And the ending was kind of stupid too and everybody knows that, but hey, uh, good series nonetheless. Hannah Best Girl. There's a very spicy kissing scene and in this spiciest kissing scene I've ever seen in my entire life. The most depressing media I've ever consumed in my lifetime. It's this bird, okay? It's a bird, um, but from our, our eyes it's a bird. In real life, he's a person. He's a little kid. He starts as a little kid and he and as he grows older, he, he has parent issues friend issues, issues with people, issues, 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 issues. It spirals, it spirals, it spirals, it spirals, and then it spirals even more, and it spirals, it spirals, and it's done, it doesn't stop spiraling, and you spiral into, you spiral forever, you spiral until uh, you spiral, and then you spiral, you, you spiral, you spiral, I need to make room here, you spiral, you spiral, you spiral, you spiral. 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 We're done spiraling. We got we got a man and his cat. He, oh, so cute. So oh, look at this fat cat and this wholesome old man. And he takes care of this fat cat. Oh, you know what? If you read Pun Pun, just read a man and his cat right after. Then you maybe maybe I'll negate the effect. You know what I mean? 
I only have one volume. I just remember she's like, she wants to be an idol or something. Not the best writing, honestly, the writing's pretty not good. But uh, you know what? I, I, I have nostalgia for it, honestly. It's about telekinesis and uh, tele fire pyromancy. They're just psychic people fighting and getting experimented on. The Blade Children. Basically, it's like Detective Conan, but like, yeah, this guy's a smart guy. He's a cool character. I think he looks cool. One of the first animes I've watched, and I really like Spiral. So I bought the manga, and it, it's cool. It's cool. You know, they're, dude, they're such cute characters. I, I want the rest. I don't know how many volumes there are. I think Spiral's great. This is about this, this demon ghost that haunts the bathroom, the school bathrooms. It reminds me of, like, kind of like Shaman King or something. I don't know. I only have one volume. I can't judge too hard. She's an alien. And then, uh, oh, you know what I like about the series, actually? The main character, he's such a douchebag. His whole character is being a douchebag. And he, he's a womanizer. And he, he, like, chases after all women except for the main girl for some reason. But, yeah, dude, I, I actually quite enjoy it. Monster is about, like, a doctor surgeon who, like, let some kid live. And then the kid grew up to be a serial killer. And he has to track down this kid because he feels responsible for letting that kid live. And if you combine all these, it, it equals to one big picture, which I will show you a picture here because I took a picture a while ago. Boom. It's just about uh, a girl, a gondola girl. She just, you know, likes to, it's pretty chill. It's a chill uh, manga. It's rated all because all they do is ride a gondola and uh, talk to people. It's about like a, this guy finds a tree and then it transforms into a shrine maiden which is this girl, she wants to be a magical girl. Started off really good, I really liked it. Then I went on to read it online. Oh my goodness gracious, it, what a boring story. It, it turned so boring. Wow, 50 cents, one of the best music markers of all time, actually. Beck. I just love how he starts as like a loser that doesn't know how to play guitar and then he becomes like a, a rock star, dude, that's sick. He's like, oh, I got a boner, ah, ah, and then he transforms, ah, ha, 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 I'm gonna go steal some art. And um, yeah, this is one of my first mangas I've ever bought, ever. My first set ever. The, the poor bummer part is that the manga stopped at 13. I don't know why, just one random hiatus. So sad. And hey, bonus, we got the D and Angel season, I don't know, volume two or whatever. I really like the series. I know the gag gets old. She's really dumb. She likes bananas, you know, but I don't know. Makes me feel, I don't know. We have Alive, which is about a virus that makes uh, people suicide and jump off buildings and such like that. And then if you resist the urge to suicide, you get superpowers. Yeah, yeah, kind of weird premise. It starts off as the basic premise is, Oh, popularity contest, uh, let's vote who's the most popular, and then that person dies. And then they keep doing it, they keep doing it, keep doing it. I don't know the rest of the story, I only have volume one. I like Saw stuff like this, like Saw, Dangan, and Wanpa stuff, you know what I mean? I, 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 I don't care about this one, I didn't like it. Okay, this one's a classic, Chrono Crusade. Dude, this is nostalgia AF, dude. This is like one of my uh, second series after D and Angel. I bought this one. It's only eight volumes, and it, it, I think it's, you guys all should read this. It has an anime, but it's not the same. Anime is a little bit different, but yeah, yo, yo, dope. This is literally uh, Sword Art Online before Sword Art Online became a thing. So, you know, pay attention to your uh, your seniors. You get a credit card, like a like a call card from a. Uh, one of those telephone booths and you slide the card and you enter another world and you battle demons and uh you know i liked it you know it was cool and, and i think apparently it's a part of the future they like they go into the future or something and they try they have to save the world he gives you a card and he's like bro you about to die soon at 9 p.m and the guy's like why what i do and he's like well you just you just gonna die boy and then he's like ah employ to get readers to bear kids for the dying population of Japan. This single father and then he cooks food for his daughter and uh, she gets very excited and happy. She's like, yummy, yummy. Next we got Moteki. It's basically about this loser and he like, you know, he, he likes abusive girls and he chases the wrong girls. I'm a loser, he's a loser, I can relate. So basically it's good romance. This girl was asleep for many centuries and she's like, apparently like, I don't know, it's kind of like Pokemon. She's like a very rare Pokemon and now everyone wants the rare Pokemon and uh, they, they have to do synchronization attacks and 
They each have their own Pokemon, but they're like girls. From the maker of Monster, we got Naoki Yodasada again with the masterpiece 20th Century Boys. Really, very good, very good. They, it's about childhood friends trying to save the world, the, the mistake that they made before. And these these are big books, big thick -um books. Uh, nostalgia, it's about like spirit people or, or something. Like they, they do spirit medium stuff. I, I, I'm pretty sure this guy's like a fortune teller or something. He's like kind of like a scam artist kind of. Oh, and this guy's like a crow guy. I'm thinking of buying the whole box set, honestly. They have a box set that looks pretty cool. Except they're not as jumbo as this. It's about uh, a bunch of students that crash planed onto a dinosaur island. You have a bunch of reptiles and they teach you about like the dinosaurs that are attacking them and then the students that attack them. Yeah, they teach you a lot about the uh, dinosaur land. You know, you know what I mean? They get attacked by dinosaurs, okay? I got these for like, what, a dollar? Look at that. I got them for a dollar. And I'm gonna be honest, you should not read this. You should just watch the anime. A single volume of Bleach, I know. I'm sorry, Bleach fans. I wanna buy the box set one day, but uh, this is all I got. Wow, fairy tale. I, I, oh, 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 oh. I heard people said it falls off and it, you know, uh, friendship power overrides everything and stuff like that, so. I decided to stay away from my more. This is The Last Hope, which was made by an American. And uh, you know what? It was an okay attempt, but um, it just seems very off. I just bought this randomly because I thought it was like a continuation of Battle Royale or like a new Battle Royale. Nope. It was literally just, they just illustrated like one chapter of the book. Felt like I wasted my money on this one, but I mean, whatever i wish i had the original manga but it's too rare and too hard to get i liked it i only have two volumes i like stories where you know the guy's too super duper popular and then she's like oh my god he's so hot and then he's like yeah i know yeah we got renee from the makers of inuyasha and, and lanma i just kind of get into it just like uh you know yeah yeah i, I prefer my my rom-coms you know um I think he visits dreams or something. I don't know. I, I that was kind of boring. Um, you guys, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, anime way better. Just just watch the anime. This is different. This has a different ending though. I like the ending. Look at this. Fifty cents, dude. I was a big fan of the anime. I think the anime is great. And uh, Santa is best girl. And uh, yeah, don't at me, bro. And uh, I only have two volumes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Had a great start. Then I went into filler arc. I read the rest online. I only have one volume, I think. The the filler arc online, oh my god, dude. It was like a hundred chapters of nothing. This is pain. This series was nothing but pain. Why did he do fillers? Why? I loved it. I loved it. I loved this. Manga, why did you do that to me? This is the biggest flex of all time. Yes, these are single, uh oh, uh oh. Gantz, single volume, complete. Yeah, so I'm not turning these around because they're extremely edgy in the back. Basically, it's a very edgy and very they have sex and they have violence and it's very violent and there's blood everywhere. So this is during my college phase where I was buying these mangas, you know, because I liked it, right? They're single. Uh oh, yeah, I, I, you know, I was, I, I'm edgy boy. I, I kept buying them and, and eventually I completed the whole series. Little did I know this series was gonna be out of print. They only sell the omnibus version of Gantz. So these single volumes um, are extremely rare now because they don't print them anymore. And I happen to have all of them. And so basically this whole series costs around um, $1,000 to $3,000, maybe $4,000, I don't know. Now we have Rob, huh? one of my favorite mangas of all time. But you know what's sad is that I don't have the volumes. I only have like random volumes. For I watched the show to 19. See, it's it's random. It's random. I always wanted to buy them all at one go, but I could never find a cheap, like, and they're kind of rare, the single volumes now. Ronma is just about when you get hit by cold or hot water, you transform into a animal or for Rama's case a girl i want to show you the aftermath of this video <laughs> yeah um this is what happens when you have no shelf space you have no space at all I'm, oh my goodness 